So we need to do factorization of this question. So step number one, what is the step number one quickly? A, B, and C. No. Multiply the first term and the last term. So one into 15 is 15. And uh, we will do the prime factors. One into 15. Two into 15. Uh, Two nine over three into five, and there is no other number by which we can factorize. Yes or no? Yes. But the thing is, in the middle there is a root. So, what I'm going to do, I will think in a different manner. I will split four root three and try to multiply them and check whether I get 15 or not. I'll give you one example. So 1 root 3 plus 3 root 3. So if I add, uh, if I multiply them, 1 into 3 into root 3 into root 3. That is 3 into 3, 9. And we are not getting 15. Yes or no? Yes. So I will no I will not take this number. So another combination can be two root three plus two root three. Understood? Yes. So let us check. Two into two into three. Understood why I'm saying three? Because yes. 3 root 3 into root 3 is 3. Yes. The answer what I'm getting over here is 4 into 3, 12. And which is not equal to 15. Okay. The product I want is 15, no? Yes. Yeah. Now, another combination. 5. Uh, yeah. So, if, if I take... One more time, 3 root 3 plus 1 root 3. It is the same like this. Yes, so 5. So we are not going to take this. So addition are all done. Yes. For addition, all are done. Now I will look for subtraction. 5 root 3 minus 1, one root 3. Understood? Because I need over here positive 4 root 3. Remember, I yes. need positive 4. Somebody, if somebody writes 1 root 3 minus 5 root 3 is incorrect. Because it will give me negative 4 root 3. Negative. Understood? Hmm. So, if I multiply this thing, 5 into 1 into 3, I am getting 15. So, this is correct. Yes or no? Yes. So what I will do, I will use this value. So b square plus 5 root 3b minus 1 root 3b minus 15. Understood this thing? That's how I'm going to split. Now over here, I will take the common part. B. V plus 5 root 3. And from here, remember one more thing. This bracket and over here, what the bracket is going to come must be same. Yes or no? Yes. Over here, some bracket will come, na? Yes, sir. So, I know that it, it should be B plus 5 root 3. I already know that. Yes. Okay. So let us yes. try to make it. Let us try to make it. Now, if you observe, this term is alone, B. That means I need to take root 3 common. Making sense? Yes. I need to take root 3 common. Yes. So if I take root 3 common, over here it will 
become v minus but but i don't know what will come over here so let me explain it to you so 15 can be written as 3 into 5 And we know that root three into root three is three. Root five, root five. Okay, root three into root three is three. So can I say three is root three into root three? Yes. So I will write over here root three into root three into five. Sir, why are you not changing five as root five? Because I don't need to. I have root three over here, not root five. Understood? Yes. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to take one more step. B square five root three b minus root three b minus root three root three into five. I will write like this. Now I will take common from these two, and then I will take common from these two. Okay, so b common b plus five root three minus root three common b plus minus minus plus okay. root three cancel. So five root three. Can you see this bracket is same as I told you? Yes. Therefore, b minus root three and b plus five root three is the answer. Got it? Yes. So this is the factorization of these two. So somebody, if you somebody, this these are the factors. Hmm. If somebody asks you to find out the roots. So v minus root three equals to zero. V value becomes root two. V plus five root three equals to zero. V value becomes minus five root three. So this is alpha. This is beta. Now you can do your coefficient thing. Whatever the question is asking, that we that is separate. Okay. Yes. Any doubt in this question? No. So this method, I'm just recapping quickly. Whenever there is a root in the center, you have to split that number. How you have to split? By multiplying first and last. Okay. So I must tell you that this kind of question will definitely come. So. Make sure you uh, you can save this video and watch it again and again, two three times, and do minimum two three more questions like this.